Okay, so I keep seeing people repost this pic released by the Rosemont Police saying it's the camera Kanika's mom was saying was removed over the freezer. I'm going to quickly prove how this camera is not the inoperable camera in question. In fact, I'm going to prove how this is the camera that actually captured the only footage of Kanika caught at the upper kitchen. First, if you want to notice the tables on the left and the right of the camera, at the upper right hand side table is where we will see in a second, we will see Kanika walk past and walk towards the direction of the freezer. Notice I said towards the direction of the freezer, not into the freezer because we don't have the crucial piece of surveillance footage that would have caught that part. Okay, so now I want to bring your attention to this door. This is the door Kanika came in through before she was seen on the camera. And to the right hand side of it, you see the same table that was seen on the left hand side. So as you see, these are both the perspectives. You can't see the door um, from, from the right hand side picture because there's a little being covered by the gray door, but this is exactly the same place. And I'm gonna give you the perspective of where the photographer was. The photographer was right there and he's taking a picture towards the door. And this would be uh, exactly where Kanika came in and walked through and you see the camera right over her head, which would record her back as she comes into the camera's view. So as you see the door, you see her walking through this door and on the on the left hand side of this picture, you would you just imagine that the camera's overhead and it's aiming towards where the freezer is. It doesn't clearly show the door of the freezer, but it shows in that direction and that's the angle that um, we all seen. And um, basically you see the camera on the right you see Kanika will walk in through this door, which is not shown by the camera because it's aimed away. And as she walks into the thing, you see on the upper right hand side, you'll see the photographer. He would be taking pictures of what would be the, where the camera is at, which is definitely not where the freezer would be. And it's definitely not the camera that um, Kanika's mom was talking about that was missing with the footage. Now for the final proof, I just want to show you guys that... um. If you look at the left hand picture over here, this is um, the path that Kanika walked through. And if you look at the right hand picture, this is actually uh, uh, the photographer taking a picture towards where the freezer is at. So there, this camera is obviously not aimed or by the freezer. This is not the camera that Kanika's mom was talking about. And I'm not making this video to discredit the idea that there might have not been a camera there. That's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is that you people are looking at the wrong situation in the wrong manner and are obviously wrong. So if you want to be taken serious about a camera being there and removed, you got to at least be honest and forthcoming in the idea that um, what you're looking at is obviously not the camera that would have been facing towards the freezer or on top of the freezer. Um, how Kanika's mom said, this is actually the one camera that we did get footage from. I just quickly want to reiterate that this video is not for the purpose of saying that there wasn't a camera that was removed or that was or wasn't removed or was in use or not in use. I'm just specifically making this video for the people that think that they found a smoking gun when in reality, if you uh, want to look at the situation objectively and how things are what you're actually looking at, you would basically be able to determine that um, this is clearly not above the freezer. This camera that's in question that people are saying is above the freezer and was removed. This is clearly the camera that captured Kanika. As far as any other further speculation that the camera was removed or wasn't removed or was working or wasn't, that's not the point of this video. The point of this video is to prove beyond a reasonable doubt that this indeed is not the camera. We're still looking for justice for Kanika. We're still trying to figure out what happened with this young lady. Rest in peace to Kanika, justice for Kanika, and may the family find peace and closure within um, the facts. Thank you.